Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with another one. It's beer review time, guys. What's going on? We're back at it. It's been a while since we've done a beer review. We've been checking out some awesome local restaurants. Yeah, we've been doing lobster roll showdowns, chicken parm throwdowns, but we're back at it with beer, which is what started the journey of Jennifer's journey, and we're back at it. Last time we were in Vermont for a brewery. Where are we this time? Are we still in New England? We what do you guys think? Out. We went tropical. Kona Brewery. So we pretty much went as far as you can get in the United States from Vermont for a brewery. And we're doing Kona Brewing Company um, based out of Hawaii. They got four beers, uh, Kua Bay, Castaway, Longboard, and Big Wave. A lot of you probably had Longboard or Big Wave. Um, if you're at a pub, sometimes they have those on draft. Uh, but I've never seen these IPAs on tap, so we're going to give those a shot. Let you know what we think. We've tried a lot of good IPAs from New England. Let's see if Hawaii stacks up to those guys. But first, we're going to go with... Um, what are we going with first? Big Wave. Just cracked it open. Cute bottle. Gives you that 60s, I think. Hawaiian yeah, that old school kind of... Definitely like a Hawaiian old school kind of feel. What kind of beer is this one? It's a lager, amber? We'll find out. We it's definitely not, not one of the IPAs. That's why we're looking with here. Cheers. Golden Ale. So it's a golden ale, guys. Cheers. We've got a new camera set up here, so we're working out the angle still, so I hope everyone can see us all right. Yeah, we're going to see if this is a cheers or a jeers. And as always, I got the handy dandy ready in case it's not on par, but I, I have good good hopes for a Kona. Oh, yeah. High hopes. That's good. They call it Big Wave Golden Ale. That's good. Yeah, this is tasty. Very smooth. It's actually a very smooth beer, this one. I enjoy it. So this cap says, our sun-drenched Big Wave Golden Ale is a smooth brew inspired by what makes Hawaii great. Catch a wave. Year-round, the waves that roll onto the Hawaiian beaches are some of the best in the world. Catch the crest of a breaking wave and ride it all the way in. Oh, Cheers nice to that. Story, yeah. nice Cheers to story. that. Look at that. That's cute. You can tell I like it. I already almost finished, but... Here, you want some more? Mm -hmm. Very tasty. I've been so busy reading. I didn't even get to have too much yet. And what's the alcohol content on Big Wave? It's right here. Big Wave is a 4.4. So this is um, on the lighter scale for those guys, but it's good. It's a nice, um, refreshing beer. Maybe for a beach, barbecue, this is what, what you want, you know. Pack these in. Yeah, it's good. I, um, I can see myself having a few of these for sure. Smooth. I definitely want it nice and cold. Um, not too, not too much, not too much going on. It's yeah, just no bite easy, to it. It's not, it doesn't have one of those after bites or anything like that. And if you guys are new to the channel, we're not sniffing the beers. We're not any of those beer connoisseurs. Where you know, I, I like to say we're two people who are just trying beers as if normal people at a bar. Like you know, we're not going to be sniffing the beers, making weird noises when we take a <laughs> sip. That's not our style. So. We're not fancy here. But this is a cheers. This is very good. I'm going to give this an 8.75. This is a very nice beer. Yeah, I'm going to top myself off here. Let me put that back on the bank. Very nice and refreshing. Let's see what else this box says while we're at it. 12 bottles of liquid aloha, it says on here. It has a cool map of the islands up on top. Have you guys been to Hawaii? Michael and I have gone... Separately. Separate occasions, yeah. Yeah, we haven't gone together, so it's definitely on our list to go. We both loved it. I like to say subscribe so we can get to Hawaii, courtesy of those commercials. So make it happen, guys. Yeah, subscribe. We were talking about making a video on how to share, how to subscribe so we can share it with our, <laughs> our family members that are asking because they're watching. Everyone's out there watching, but not everyone knows how to subscribe. So I didn't either. I, um... I didn't subscribe to anyone until we made this channel, so. And a special shout out to Evelyn's and Tiverton. Um, yeah. We did a Lobster Roast Showdown episode two there. Um, and, you know, they basically showed us a lot of love. Um, and that's why we do it. We, we love the feedback. Um, they were very appreciative of us, of us posting a review. Yeah, we and made we... some new friends over there. Wendy, thank you so much. Um, Jane and all, all the Evelyn staff, you guys have been so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing and supporting and commenting and following us on Instagram. We love it. We love it all. It's like I said in the review, amazing food and amazing service. It goes a long way. Um, and 
during these times where it's hard to get staffing and stuff like that, they went, you know, they did their thing. The food was great. The service was phenomenal. And we've gone there twice since then. And that's a testament to the, to the service of the, of the restaurant and the staff. Yes. We also did check out another location in Tiverton, Rhode Island, and they didn't come back. So, Evelyn, you're still on top. Yeah, you're the you're the um, creme de la creme now for Las Rose Showdowns. You, you're what we're comparing all the restaurants to in the future because you scored a high score. I think we got we gave it like a nine five overall for the entire experience. So every Las Rose Showdown moving forward is going to try and beat Evelyn. So stay tuned. Let's see if um, anything can top it. Um, but we'll see what happens because that's going to be hard to beat. Yeah, that's what we that's what we're comparing everything to now. So we're sending our friends. Everyone, go check out Evelyn's. We love them. Crab cakes. The crab Lobster cakes are phenomenal there, yeah. And the views are five stars yep. all around. If you haven't been, check them out. Absolutely. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. So next one, this is, I think, what they're known for the most. This is the Kona Longboard. Kona Longboard. There we go. This is the bottle. Another super cute. Old school vibe. It's definitely like a 1970s kind of bottle. So this one looks light too. This is their lager. So this is what um will be on par for like a Hawaiian Bud Light. This is like their kind of a lager here. I'll wait for you before I take a sip. Okay. Cheers to you if you're drinking Cheers along with us. Cheers. Yeah, since the last beer review, we've hit a few milestones. We've surpassed 50 subscribers. We're up to 60 now. And we're very excited about that. Keep them coming. I like the first one better. No, this is this is up my alley. I like this. I'm surprised this one to me has like a more of a, a darker, it tastes darker to me. I love this one. Molly Murphy, you went to college in Hawaii. How, what did you think of Kona, the Kona, Kona Brewing Company? Let us yes. know. Yes. Yes. I almost said Molly, Molly Peters, but it's Molly Murphy now. Oh. Sorry, Molly M and Molly P. I'm not supposed to give the last names. I apologize, but. All right, so this bottle says a spirited, crisp, and refreshing brew. Long board island lager is a smooth ride all the way in. Thirst up. Walk in Beach in Honolulu is the birthplace. Oh, sorry. Waikiki Beach in Honolulu is the birthplace of the longboard surfing. Kona Brewing pays tribute to this iconic place with our own longboard island lager. Doesn't she have a nice voice, guys? Any any companies want to hire her for commercial? She's been she's done a JetBlue commercial before, so if you're from California and you recognize this voice, you know she was that commercial. You above all is Wabi Fly. Pack up your bags and pocket that fee. That was that was this lovely lady here. Michael has the commercial memorized from. <laughs> Well, about 10 years ago. Many years ago. So that's love right there. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that, Michael. <laughs> Maybe we'll link that below. We should get that up on YouTube. We'll see somewhere. what happens. She used to get like a, a nickel for every time it played in California. <laughs> I don't think it was a nickel. <laughs> too, bad, right. too bad they're not playing it anymore. <laughs> Let's see what this one alcohol percent is. What is it, this one? It's the longboard, yep. Island 4. lager, 6. 4.6. It's about on par with a Bud Light. I like this. This is actually very good. So on this bottle, it also says, brewed by Kona Brewing Company, Kona, Hawaii, Portland, Oregon, and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So we just learned that. We didn't know that they had, I don't know if it's a packaging store or packaging location in New Hampshire. But I mean, I think I, I think it, I think if it was only getting brewed in Hawaii and to get it into the states, it'd be pretty expensive. Um, so this is actually probably a method to get a little, uh, you know, cost effective to get the product out throughout the states. I might be wrong with that assumption. Yeah, but, that sounds right. That but this is right. good, you know. Listen to some Jack Johnson in the Waikiki Beach and drink some Longboard. That sounds uh, right up this lovely lady's alley. You know what? I I like the I like the other one better. I'm a fan of this. This one's a nine for me. This is very smooth. Want some more? I'll take some more, absolutely. This might be the best of the beers I've drank in these reviews so far. I like this one a lot. This is very on par with um, what I like. That's why. Can you put it on the bag? 
on the bag. Yeah. Okay, you put the other one on the bag too. Uh -huh. Let me show you guys this coaster that my uncle made me. I don't think I've showed this yet, have I? You might have, but oh, we, we can always show it again. There's, there's new viewers. <laughs> Let them see it. Absolutely. My uncle made that for me. Or I don't know if he made it for me specifically, or maybe I got it at the grab gift, but pretty cool. He does some fun stuff like that. Maybe if you guys are coming to the wedding, you might see some of his work there that even some of my family members probably don't know about. Uncle Steve is hooking it up. Besides the merch tent, which we announced about five videos ago, we got some surprises for you guys, so stay tuned. And I'm sure, you know, even if you're not coming to the wedding, there will be some documentation of some sort. So you'll be along for the ride in Jenico's journey yeah. in one way or the other, whether you know us or you're just a... Um, Knowing us through these videos, you'll see it, and I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so how's everyone's summer going? You know, I, I like these videos because I feel like we can reach out to everyone and see what's going on, have a few drinks. You know, I, I, I envision, envision everyone popping a few drinks as they watch this with us, you know, so whether it be a handy dandy or some craft brewing company from wherever you guys are from. Yes. Cheers to everyone out there. Salute, guys. <laughs> and we got a lot of exciting stuff coming. We got our honeymoon that we're going to vlog. I don't know if we're going to vlog the wedding. We're not vlogging the wedding, but I'm sure people will take videos and we'll probably make a little mashup of that stuff. The honeymoon, and then we got some other lobster roll show down, chicken parm throwdowns, beer reviews. A lot of stuff, so stay tuned, guys. A couple other New England hotels booked for upcoming events that we're going to, and some past ones that we've been to that we're going to be posting soon. And not only did the lovely Jen suggest something, but um, one of our biggest fans, Murph Mini 86, also said something after the fact, not knowing that the lovely Jen said something. So we might have some ice cream reviews coming up soon because that was recommended to us, and she um, loves ice cream, so yes, yes. we might have to make it happen. I think it's an O negative thing, O negative blood. I think that people with O negative blood specifically love ice cream. So if you know your blood type, and if you like ice cream, give this video a thumbs up and help prove my point. <laughs> hey Murph, you, you won the first um, trivia Jenico's Journey Challenge. So do you want to pick the first ice cream place and we'll meet yes. up and do something? We, we said, you know, you could pick something. So maybe that's that spot in Swansea that you highly recommend you know we'll do a little thing there let that's us know that's a good call that's a very good call I'm always down for ice cream winter summer spring fall I will have it and if there's a brewery you guys want us to check out Langanitas aside because there's no mix pack for Langanitas let us know alright let's move on to number three alright number three trivia question number three is named the same name as a movie from Tom Hanks. Yes. We did show you the box, so if you looked at the box closely, you might have seen that. So think Hawaii, think boats, think... Think like a certain... I don't want to give it away, but... <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. It's uh, <laughs> Castaway. Wilson! Yes, there it is. Bottle. Cute. I think that's a. Is that a catamaran? No. A sailboat, I guess. Maybe a catamaran. Yep. Up. Oh, there we go. There we go. And this is an IPA, so we're in the smack you in the face range for alcohol content, I'm going to assume. So here we go, guys. Alcohol content on the castaway is five. So six percent right there. Six percent alcohol content. Six. All right, cheers. Cheers, guys. I like it. Three for three. That's three good. for three. That's a good one. That's my favorite of the bunch so far. Yeah, that's good. Has a little bit of the IPA bite to it, but it's an IPA, so that's what you know. That's what to expect. It's enjoyable IPA. We've done quite a few IPAs on this journey. We've done some breweries that had a specific IPA mix packs, and this ranks up there pretty high yeah. with a lot of them. So for me, 8-4. Eight, 8-4 four. Eight, four for this one. But it's very good. Very good. 
she's going to give this her a high score because she said it was the best one so far. So I haven't rated the other ones, but <laughs> I don't think you have either. Yeah, I gave, I gave, I gave a nine some. I don't know. I don't my, my, think dad you says, did. my dad says my dad says something that's very true. He says, you know, you say a score and then you forget what you said and you, you change the score yes, at the end. Yes, exactly. I gotta exactly. start writing it down. This is an eight four. <laughs> Mr. Fascio, I deal with this on a daily basis. This is what I deal with. He the, says one thing, then he changes his mind to another. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the, the first the, the log was a nine four the nine five. The other one was about a nine two, and this one's an A four. About a so what? Yeah, you know, mean? rewind the video. I, I gave my scores already. I didn't write it down. I'm drinking beer. I'm having a good time. Roll, roll that clip. All cheers. All roll, cheers. Roll that clip. <laughs> we are in trouble. We're in trouble. We're only on beer three, and you already don't remember what we gave. I mean, I got. I'm not gonna lie. I've had a few handy dandy butt lights prior to this video. I'm waiting for the lovely Jen. She went shopping earlier. Um, I went out to, to get shampoo. She said, I'll be right back. And four hours later, she she arrived. And I was waiting patiently. I, I thought yeah. when she said, I'll be right back, I thought we were making the video. So I cracked open my first handy dandy. And Listen. Four hours later, she hasn't arrived yet. So ladies, what do I do? I cracked ladies, a few more handy dandies. You know what's up. I went to Target. Target led me to Nordstrom Rack. I just had to look at all the things. I had to load up on supplies. Hence, you know, hence, I don't, you know, to live with. two weeks ago, Jen goes, oh, you want to go for a car ride and, and check out this store? You, I think you'll like it. Within a half hour, she goes, why? Well, what's wrong with you? Bored. And it's, Jen, Jen was doing typical lady thing. You know, you pick up an item, you look at it, then you drop it down and you look at the next item, you pick it up and you look at it. And then you go back to the first item and you look at it again. And then you go to three items and then you may go back to the first item. My mom did the same thing. All women, I think, do the same crap. I don't like shopping, you know, with women. Period, because it takes forever. It gets oh boring. God, I can, I can go to a store, boom, boom, boom. I want that, that, and that, and then you're done. You pay. You out of the store within 20 minutes. Women, four, four hours in Target, and she came with two bags, but four hours. I came with like eight bags, actually. Same thing with the supermarket. You know, because of the pandemic, I've been going to the market by myself, and I get all the items, and I'm waiting in the car. Thank God for that. I have not gone into a grocery store since but I'm, pre-pandemic. I, I, Thank God. I'm like supermarket sweep style. I get in there, I'm out of there in like 20 minutes. Boom, 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 boom. If we were her, one hour in the supermarket. See, look who's talking so much now that I finished my beer and he didn't. <laughs> yes, I needed to get some essential stuff, so I just loaded up. Figured I was out. Weird things are happening with this coronavirus stuff. I don't want to be nah, stuck we're not in talking one of those about situations. That. This, is, this is a COVID-free discussion <laughs> zone. We're not talking politics. We don't talk uh, coronavirus. We talk <laughs> about beer, food, travel, and good stuff. Just wanted to make sure we had toilet paper and Clorox wipes. <laughs> Poor little more of this cast away. Speaking of Tom Hanks, what is your favorite Tom Hanks movie? Let's um let's do a little a little friendly contest. Whoever messages us first or comments below. It's usually text message. Everyone wants to be off the radar, but we don't mind. Your favorite Tom Hanks movie, first one to tell us, can pick our next or whatever. How about this? I'm gonna give the lovely Jen the answer so there's no cheating, she'll know. <laughs> if you can guess what my second knew? my second favorite what? Tom Hanks movie, because my first favorite is <laughs> Forrest Gump. So that's too easy. Why if is you it can all guess about you? My second favorite Why Tom... is it about you? All right, so we'll have two winners. If you can guess my second favorite Tom Hanks movie and the lovely Jen's second favorite Tom Hanks movie. How about my first? Why does it have to be Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump. Oh, no, it's the one with the... It's the one... Excuse me. I almost gave it away. I know her, her first favorite. Stop. If you can guess her first favorite one, it's not Forrest Gump. You and my second don't one, even one know. that is Forrest Gump. Well, yes, I do know your Tell second. me. No, that's wrong. No, are you, okay, you... so if anyone besides my fiance knows my favorite Forrest Gump movie. Oh, you just said Forrest Gump. <laughs> I, I was thinking her favorite was The Green Mile because she always talked about it. No, I don't. Yeah, you said it was a great movie. Tom Hanks. Is in The, in the Green Mile. Yeah, you think that that's my favorite Tom Hanks movie? I've never Obviously, seen it. it's Forrest Gump. All right, well. I already gave it away when I said it, so new quiz. All we'll right. have to come if up You can guess my second my favorite second one. Favorite. You get a prize. No, this quiz is done. We're done. I don't think anybody's going to guess it, so. I'm going to make the ante. You get one of these I already know lovely it. bad boys. I already know it. 
to your shirt. All right, we need a new pawn tops. This is not, yeah, this is not if it. you want a Cheers or Jeers shirt, <laughs> no. Guess my second favorite Tom Hanks movie. Ickles Journey. No, it's a good contest. Ickles Journey. All right, Jenna wants to pick the contest. <laughs> what do you want to pick? Next beer. And we'll have to we'll have to come up with it. I don't know. Murph Mania picked the picked the second best Tom Hanks movie just for giggles. Just so just for fun. And the last beer is Kua Kua Bay. I think it's just Kua once, isn't yes, it? Kua Bay. That's it. And this one's going to smack you on the face. Take a last sip of this one. Mm. Oh, we got a little foam action. I'm going to pour it quickly. And there's that pour, guys. This one looks like the darkest, I think, so far out of this pack. Yeah, what's the alcohol content of this one? 7.3. Woo wee, guys. This one will get you. So far, it has not been cracked open. It's not it for me. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, Jen's giving a hint that this might get cracked open. What's the backstory on Kua Bay? You give it a taste and I'll tell you. Ugh. Yeah, it has an afterbite to it. I don't know what this is. <sighs> they call it, this is Kua Bay India Peel Ale. Yeah. I don't think we read the last bottle. I don't know. I'm going to take one more sip. This one says, Kua Bay on a big island is a Picture per is picture perfect as it gets. Bright turquoise waves carry you towards the white sand beach. So grab your beach mat and our Kua Bay IPA with this piney hoppiness and subtle caramel malt. It's That's malt. what I don't like, that caramel nonsense. It's a smooth, crisp finish to your day. No fruits and no random stuff in the beer, guys. Yeah. Malt is not... I'm not a mm. fan. I, I I couldn't even hide the face. That that beer was three, maybe a two. Yeah, this to me is not refreshing. Um, I think it tastes very desserty, and I don't want a dessert beer right now, or ever. I don't think. I thought that um, Kona was gonna get a four for four. I mean, the first three were phenomenal. Yeah, that's not it. It's not it. Did we finish the other three beers? Yes. That speaks volumes that we finished the other three beers and for, for us both to not even really want to I was looking those. forward to a four for four sweep, but yeah. unfortunately, Kua Bay. Kua it's a, Bay, it's you're a jeers. being put away. It's a jeers, guys, Kua Bay. Three cheers, one jeers. Overall, good brewery. It's good, though. We're not, we're not mad. Wow, that that's glistening in this light every time mm -hmm. they sip it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going to Hawaii and going to the Ashley Kona Brewing Factory. I'll skip, um, clearly I'll skip Kua Bay, but Castaway, Longboard, Big Wave, you know, but aside from the Tom Hanks debauchery of this video, um, uh, overall this was a great, um, great brewery. What did you say? Yeah, I loved it. I would definitely have three out of the four again. Mm -hmm. Um, loved the art on the bottles. We need to look into the Portsmouth, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, see what's going on up there. Maybe we'll go check them out if they have a brewery up there. I don't know if they do. If you know, comment below and tell us. We'll figure it out, though. And don't text message us. Comment below, guys. 
We keep getting text messages. Oh, this is my favorite. This is what I like. <laughs> shout out Don't to shout out to Uncle Uncle R Harris. Cheers. Thanks for following. Thanks for watching. Nice chatting um, travel parks with you. Can't wait to discuss more details on how we can get away and travel. Oh, we got a big blowout um, in late September, mid-September. We're going to be in a brewery. We might we might vlog it. But we we'll, should we'll have vlog it. We'll have multiple special guests. Yes. It'll be a dope video. We should set up the tripod and have everyone give a rating of a beer yeah, while we're there. Yeah, just quickly Get, say, like, is it a cheers <laughs> or is it a jeers? <laughs> And just let us know. <laughs> so I actually have a little surprise for Michael. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! I, I should have kept my mouth shut about this Forrest, <laughs> Forrest Gump Tom Hanks competition that got us so riled up because I got a surprise coming, guys. <laughs> this is not planned. He doesn't know anything about it. So let me just finish this. This. Oh, are, we, are, we, are we going on vacation? <laughs> what? Is there a flight that I'm going on? One time she surprised me. She woke me up. Oh my! God. She woke me up and she said, "Get dressed and get ready. We're vacation. leaving." She said, "We're leaving in an hour." And I said, "What is going on?" I just woke up. It was my birthday, and I had three clues, and I yeah. failed. Like I couldn't guess the clues. But we went to New Orleans. We had a twenty-four hour adventure in New Orleans. We did it Anthony it Bourdain awesome. style, just twenty-four awesome. hours. Oh my god! We rocked gosh. it out, and we had a great time. Speaking of Anthony Bourdain. We just saw the new movie. What is it called? No Boundaries? Uh, it's the Anthony Bourdain documentary. I, I forget the name. We saw it in the theaters. So Very well good. done. So I highly recommend. I mean, this is what we love to do. We love to go to restaurants. We love to Have share drinks, drinks with friends. We, we love, love to, to travel. travel. Honestly, he's my inspiration. I was once asked if I could have dinner with anyone in the world. Who would it be? And this was before he passed away he was my answer so cheers to him bring some tissues because you know how the story ends if you're a fan watch it stream it i don't know where you can see it go to the movies go on a monday where it's empty biggest advice i can give you for the movies because the restrictions are off on that and so you get a little sketchy so here's the surprise this box do we have? Oh, it's not, not empty. And it's not a mystery beer because she sipped the box. Because I was going to say, do we have a mystery beer? So. I was wondering when I was taping the box, but I, you know, I didn't. I, didn't know. I put something in the box, and we are going to do a taste test with Michael, and he has to guess what he's testing, what he's tasting. So I'm going to have you turn your head. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. <laughs> Turn your head, no peeking, please. All the way. Just get out of the whole camera. All right. So no, that's good there. That's good there. I'm going to show everyone what's in the box. Stay facing that way, please. <laughs> so we're going to do a taste test. And he has no idea what this is in any way. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm nervous. You are fine. I actually... I'm going to do one with you, but it's not eggy, is it? no, of course it's not eggy. All right, come back. I'm looking. Yep. <laughs> Have a seat. Miss me, guys. I'm back. Okay. Should I be nervous? No. So this is a taste test. <laughs> cool. is, it, is it wedding related? No. This is one of Lay's potato chips. Oh. Again, I have not tried this yet. Wait a second, why is that your response? Because they have these funky flavors now. So we are, oh, it's a heart. We're both going to do a taste test. I know what the flavor is. Michael does not, and we'll see. We'll see how, if, if I would be a good um, Hell's Kitchen participant, because they do these. Um, Potato chip these, chairs. Is, 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 am I going to get the Ramsey? You donkey. All right, go for it. You get to have three chips to guess the flavor. Go ahead. Buffalo chicken wings. Use your taste. Don't just like try to try to taste it. Chicken. Okay, here's your second. This is tastes weird. Something like Asian flavor. Okay, you're so close. You're doing so well. 
So chicken, yes. Asian-y. Like a stir fry or something. Okay, so you have one more trip in your hand and then you get one more after that. So you're on the right track. You're very close. I'm impressed. Did you look at the bag? No. Oh. No, oh, it's a chicken flavor or something. Uh-huh. What kind of chicken? Stir fry. I already said, you already said that, so try something new. It's not buffalo. No. You're close, though. It's not teriyaki. No. It's something that you'll get in a restaurant that's a chicken flavored. I just can't grasp what it Not is. Not so much a restaurant, maybe more of a resort. Last chip. This is a chip number three. Let's see if we can do it. I need to have a little sip of your beer. Resort? Mm-hmm. Margaritaville. We've never had it in a restaurant, but we have had it at a resort. So chicken. Sesame. Flavor. Asian. Like you were on the right path. One more guess. Use your taste buds. I give up. It's Asian and it's chicken. It's not Asian. A big reveal. Jerk chicken. Oh. <laughs> so here it is, a new segment. <laughs> Tasting food. Bring a little island flavor to your backyard. There's traditional spicy, sweet, and smoky jerk flavor in every bag. It's weird. I looked at the ingredients. Figured we'd go for it. What do you think? It's weird. <laughs> hmm. It's definitely interesting. So what do you think? Should we put a, a, a new um, random product for us to try in every beer video now? It's going to be my surprise to you. Maybe you'll see. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> this guy thought he was going on a vacation. Michael! <laughs> Excuse it me. happened before. It was Excuse awesome. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's some, I thought you hated it. I do, but my throat's a little bit burny. All right, any words of wisdom? I know you do. Words of wisdom, guys. Oh, we didn't go the, the bronze, silver, and gold. The lager was the gold medal for me. The bronze, me the silver medal was the first one, the longboard, which is the, no, the longboard is the, the, the gold. This Big is waves, why we don't do it. Big waves <laughs> of silver, castaway is the bronze. Kua, kua, you get a jeers, you're not even in the running. But we're both still sipping on it right now as our throat's a little bit burny from this. And Jen's order is probably the IPA Castaway first, and then the Big Wave, and then the Longboard. So her her bronze is my gold. Different taste buds. Where's the wisdom, guys? In life, in life, your life is an ocean. And the ripples and the waves are the people you interact with and you meet. So take advantage of your wave and be influential. Make life the best of it. Don't be a cheat. Look who just showed up. Oh, and our cat decided to come in our words of wisdom. <laughs> but anyways, guys. As always, peace, love, <laughs> keep drinking, and have a good night. Take care, guys. Bye.